Hey guys, welcome to my office. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take professional looking photos with just a poster board and your phone. Now, I do want to make a couple of notes up front is that if you are somebody who wears makeup, I definitely recommend doing your makeup a little bit more bold if possible, a lip color, uh, maybe false eyelashes if that seems true to you, but that really helps make the pictures pop. And so I do recommend going a little bit further with your makeup than you normally do uh, just for pictures because it does add a lot on the camera. And I do prefer professional DSLR pictures if possible, but sometimes it's just not um, in the budget or not something that is realistic for what you're doing right now. And so this is a great way to get really nice pictures without having to invest in a photographer. I've been a photographer for 10 years, so I'm going to be sharing with you the tricks that I think can make the difference when you're trying to shoot with just your phone. Phones have come a really long way, and so they can do actually amazing pictures without needing anything else, especially when you do portrait mode. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how I would do this if I was doing them from home with my camera. First thing I wanna note is that you do want one of the tri-fold poster boards. It doesn't matter what size, I think the bigger the better, but one that folds is going to be easier to have like stand by itself. So you'll definitely wanna make sure you have this kind and not just like a floppy, um, just like plain one because those ones don't stand up as well. Now when it comes to lighting, you wanna make sure that you position yourself in front of an open window. That means I don't want blinds pulled down. You wanna make sure you pull the blinds all the way up and then it's a good time of day. You don't wanna be shooting in the evening when the sun's kind of passed over and it's going down. That's not a good time. You wanna do it in the morning or the afternoon when the light is really filtering through the window, nice and bright. Open up the blinds all the way. That way you can have really nice unfiltered light. If you have a ring light, definitely utilize that as well on top of the window. I'll show you right now I have it on and here's with it off. So a ring light is also a great asset. You can get these for like $25 on Amazon. If you don't have one, that's okay. If you do have one, definitely take advantage of it. I recommend having a tripod to be able to set your camera on. However, if you do not have one, that's okay. You can just set it up on a windowsill or just set it up on some books or something to get it to the right height. You don't have to get too technical when you're taking these photos. I flipped you guys vertical to kind of get a better idea of what I'm working with. So I just set this on top of my desk. If you don't have a desk, you could do it like on a kitchen counter, a table, set it from chairs, anything to get it to the height that you want. Because this is at this height, I decided to add a bench. So I'm sitting on this little bench I have. If you don't have a bench, you can get creative, sit on a little coffee table or whatever it is to get yourself to that right height. Now I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to make sure that it's on the portrait mode. I like to do it on the studio light setting. You can do it on whichever setting you would like though. Just play around. Then I'm going to go ahead and just hold it up, selfie mode, take a picture. Then I'm gonna do a picture kind of looking up, a picture just looking like down a little bit. Now I'm going to set this up. I was taking the selfie mode. Now I'm going to set this up just on my windowsill. I'll show you guys in a second. So there's my window sill. I don't even have a ring light on these because you guys have my ring light over here. So this is just using natural light. And now I'm going to take a couple like this. It doesn't have like my hands reaching up. Now I do want to issue a word of caution. Be sure not to push your arms up against your body. That makes this kind of pancake, which is not as flattering in pictures. So if you do have your arms down, make sure you kind of move them just ever so slightly away from your body, which will help with that pancaking effect. Also make sure that you're standing up straight and then you're going to look into the camera and I'm going to set it on a timer. And you could do this on your phone. So when you set the timer, it's going to help a lot with the, um, with getting the right picture without having your arm in it. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up right now. Just put it on a three second. Now let's go ahead and change our outfits so that we have a variety of pictures. I'm just gonna throw on a cardigan and I'm gonna add a prop too, which is another great way to have like a fun pop to a picture and make it stand out. All I've done is add a cardigan. I've clipped a little bit of my hair up and I grabbed my iPad, my Apple Pencil and a coffee. Just things that I feel like might, you know, add up to who I am, add a little bit of personality to some pictures. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I have it set up over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the timer on. And just take some smiling. I'm also going to take some looking different directions. So take some looking this way. 
take some looking down. Now I'm going to put the coffee down and just do the iPad. And again. And then another one. You want a variety in here. All right. Now I have some good pictures to go with, and now I'm going to go edit them inside Lightroom, the app. I also have the actual filter that I use to edit mine, and I'm giving that to you guys to use as well. And I'm going to show you my editing process for these in the next little clip. All right, here's one of the first pictures that is giving selfie. I'm going to crop it in a little bit to cut out that extra space down there below my arm, so it's more of just a headshot. You can still see a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and apply the preset, which I think does a lot of the work, honestly. It's overexposed here. I'm just going to adjust that. And there you have it. I'm going to click the plus button, and then I'll be able to save it to my account. So you can see with this one that a lot of it, the background is still in it and not just the poster board. So I'm going to go ahead and crop this in until there's no more of that background. Then I'm going to do the preset, add my preset again, adjust the exposure, and there you have it. Now I'm going to zoom in. There are some like blemishes that you can remove just by using the healing button. When you click healing, you'll see these dots on the side and you can pull to adjust the size. I'm gonna zoom in and just go like this. It will give you like a recommended area to pull from and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it matches where you are, um, you know, trying to stick it so that it doesn't like obviously stand out. Right here. And then click the check button when you're done. And I really love that sample spot, but it gives you an idea. There's it without. You could also remove this little line right here if you would like to. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but if you want to, you absolutely can. We'll do another one. All right, so now you guys have seen what we can do just with our phone and with the app Lightroom. Now I wanna show you an extra step that is optional but is available to you if you do want to use it. So that would be coming into Canva and then you're going to click on Create Design and then you're going to select Edit Photo. You're going to go ahead and select the picture that you want to edit. I'm just gonna select this one. And I'm gonna exit out of my bubble. And then you're going to get this screen. Go ahead and click remove background. If you don't want these lines behind you, this is the great way to remove that. The poster board has allowed it to very easily detect what is the background versus if you have a really busy background, it's harder for the AI to process what's the background and what's you. So the poster board makes this really easy for this. Now at this point, you could just click save and download it like this with a transparent background, which can look really nice on a website. You can also select use in a design. I'm going to open it up into a canvas that sized really well for it. Then you can, I'm gonna move that off a little bit and then select the canvas and then change cut whatever color you want. And then you can be on that background like this. At this point, you could also add a shadow. So if you select the image and then click edit image and then shadows, you could also consider doing like a drop shadow. When you select this little toggle, you can also play around with the, um, like how blurry it is depending on how, where you want it the offset you can play around with that as well if you want to adjust things of that nature and then size it up again you could have something like that oops <laughs> another feature that a lot of people use is they select the image 
click edit image, shadows, and then they do the glow shadow. Then click on the toggles, click blur and take it all the way down so it's a very straight line. And then move size up, transparency at 100, and then select the color. And this is how people do those like borders. And that also looks very nice and professional. And then you could also export that as an image. And you can also export it as a PNG, which would mean that this is transparent in the background. And you could then use it on your website and whatever you want in order to look even more professional without actually ever having a DSLR camera.